Good evening, dear friends. Greetings from your YouTube screens. Bon appetit to everyone who is eating. Happy birthday to everyone else. So don't be shy, move closer, get comfortable in front of your YouTube screens. So friends, as you might have guessed from this photo, today we will learn how not to slouch. We will stop slouching from this minute and I will show you a set of exercises with which even without doing exercises separately, just in everyday life, you will strengthen your back muscles, which will then prevent you from slouching. You will correct your posture simply by means of your everyday normal movements. So look at what makes us slouch. Firstly, it's a muscle imbalance between the muscles in front. These are the small chest muscle, the large chest muscle, the abdominal muscles, the upper part shortens, and the weakness of the muscles on the back. Middle lower trapezius, rhomboid muscle, latissimus dorsi, back extensor, also the long neck extensor. These muscles, they should hold our spine in a certain position so that we can walk through life with our backs proudly straight. And so that our step was so quiet, it could only seem so. Because I can see in the dark, because I'm from Novochabuksarsk. Dear friends, we will embellish our video today with some song lyrics. So friends, all these muscles can work while moving, but they might not. When we take a step, with each step we can use our back muscles, but we might not. If during the movement my arm relative to the body moves like this, not going beyond the line of the leg back, then the back muscles have no chance to engage. If during the movement the arm makes a movement back here, it's even better if it straightens out. Because if it doesn't straighten out, the shoulder will rise up, then the rhomboid muscle, the middle, lower trapezius, will engage in the movement. And the first thing you need to try to do during the step is to make the arm movement back more than you usually do. But it should also look more or less natural. For this, you stand next to the wall at a distance of the length of your foot. Stand up, and from this distance try to reach back with your hand from one side, than the other side. See if this movement is comfortable for you. If it's comfortable for you, try to step a little further from the wall and make the movement from this distance. To reach, you'll have to turn your body a little bit here, and thus you can engage your oblique abdominal muscles in your movement. Watch the movement of your front hand to make sure it doesn't go inward. Here, because if during the step your hand moves inward, you will tilt at the moment when you are transferring weight to your leg. It will be difficult to maintain balance if your hand goes inward here. Therefore, try to ensure that the hand that went forward does not turn with the backside, but looks forward with the thumb. And first practice this movement to one side standing in place, then to the other side. Ensure your head is directly facing forward. Immediately after this, try to make this movement in a step. That is, try at the moment when your hand is going back, hold it a little longer, Stop at this moment, check if your hand has gone back well, and you can even check with your hand how the latissimus muscles are straining at this moment. That is, the first way to engage the muscles in the movement during the step, specifically the back muscles, is the movement of the hand back, right here. Second. At the moment when we take a step, there is a movement of the pelvis and a movement of the chest forward. If the lumbar muscles are excessively strained, then the pelvis will overtake the chest during movement. It will shift forward more strongly here. Here is our task, so that during the step, the back muscles are well engaged specifically in the thoracic spine. For this, we do such an exercise. We stand near the wall, hold on with our hands, put one foot forward, the other back, and now the back leg, the one that is behind us, we put on the toe, and your task is to reach the wall with the lower edge of the ribs. That is, I stand, for example, here in front of me is a wall. I put my foot on the toe, and my task is to reach the wall with the lower edge of the ribs. At this moment, my back begins to straighten, right in this part. If I lack this movement during the step, my pelvis will excessively go here, and it will turn out that during the step, 
my pelvis will move more back than the spine here. Here is our task during the step, the incorrect movement, it will be like this. The pelvis is moving forward. The correct movement will be like this. That is, there will be a bend in the thoracic spine here. This point moves forward and aligns with the heel. It is first practiced near the wall. You are training this movement approximately 10 times per side. And then you try this movement while walking. You take a step, and after that, at the moment when the foot rises on the toe, that's when the ribs go forward. Next step, one forward again. Next step and forward. Perform this exercise. During the walk, this movement will gradually automatically appear in your step. Thus, we can make two muscle groups, the latissimus dorsi and the back extensor, work. That is, this is for those who especially do not want to train, do not want to do exercises. Well, for those who want to fully restore all the muscles and the thoracic spine and the mobility of the scapula, that is, not only during the step, so that all this works for you, but also special exercises, there are desires to do. For you, I have prepared this complex. It will be at the link in the description. Go there, we'll meet there, we'll do it there with you. A complex for daily execution on all these muscle groups in order to correct stoop. We'll meet there. See you in future broadcasts. We do sports, help our parents. Good luck.